If you love Montessori activities, which you already know that I do, they can be kind of expensive. They're quality materials, they're gonna last a long time, and they are worth the money. However, sometimes you want just a little bit cheaper version. I'm taking you to the dollar store today to show you some of the things that you can do from items at the dollar store that are just like the Montessori activities. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are heading over to Dollar Tree to find some things that can mimic a lot of Montessori activities. This is probably one of my favorite things to do, to find things on a budget. So I have a whole playlist of Montessori activities that you can check out already. Lots of ideas, lots of inspiration, some a little bit DIYs. So you can go look at that for some more things that are all Montessori related. But today we're going to Dollar Tree to find some things to do some of the same activities and the same concepts on a budget. We're gonna start off talking about salt trays. I recently made a video about salt trays with a whole bunch of ideas and inspiration, so you can go back and check out that. But in a nutshell, all you're gonna need is a container. There's tons to choose from. I did not see the square one that I found last time I was here, but I did find these. They are the SureFresh brand. They're rectangular, and I like them because they had a lid, so easy storage. And when you're looking around the store, just look for something that has a low profile and a lid so that you can store it. Then head over to the arts and crafts aisle and pick out some sand. This time I found some white sand, or if you prefer, you can get some rice from the grocery section, even some salt, which is what Montessori activities actually use. Or if you wanna be fun and colorful, you can try some colored sprinkles like these right here. Just be advised, you're probably gonna need a little bit more than just one container. Next is the Montessori spindle box. This is traditionally a wooden box that has a different compartments in which you would count the wooden spindles for each compartment. For this one, I found some magnetic numbers which would serve as the cutouts and some wooden popsicle sticks. I have seen some dowels in the craft section at Dollar Tree before, those would work just as well. But if you find these, which are the really thin craft sticks, you can use them as your counters. And speaking of counters, there is another Montessori activities that involves wooden cutout numbers and some counters. You can use the magnetic numbers that I just showed you, or you can also look for flashcards. And there's a lot to choose from in the flashcards, but what I am looking for are flashcards that have the single number on each card, kind of like these. Then you go to the craft aisle and you find your counters. There's a lot to choose from, and these are pebbles that will normally go in a flower arrangement in the vase. I like that there's different colors. Here's some clear ones, there's also some blue. Sometimes you can even find green and red, just depends on the season. And these will serve as the counters and you can mimic that Montessori activity exactly. I have done a very similar Montessori inspired activity video about this exact game. I'll link it down below so you can see. Pouring is a basic skill in Montessori activities and it usually uses a small pitcher. I have seen really small ceramic pitchers before, usually for creamers and that kind of thing. Today I did not find that, but I did find a larger pitcher. If you're gonna use this, make sure you don't use a lot of water and maybe start with smaller cups pouring back and forth first. Transfer activities can be done so many different ways. It usually involves two containers and spooning or pouring salt, another item, into another container. I did find some very similar spout-like containers here that come four to a pack, or you can use many of the other ones they have available. Then you go to the grocery section and get some beans or rice so that you can transfer your items from one container to the next. This can be done with a spoon or just simply pouring. I wanted to give a few mentions to some practical life skills that you can do with Dollar Tree items. You probably already have these items at home, but in case you wanted to have some that were specifically for your Montessori activities, you can buy them. The first is washcloth folding. Dollar Tree has a whole bunch of packages of washcloths. I found this one that has four to a pack, and it's just simply folding them up into their square, a basic life skill. Also in the kitchen section, there are plenty to choose from. Just keep your eyes open. Flower arranging is another Montessori activity that's very, very simple. Tons of vases to choose from at the Dollar Tree and fake flowers. So you can pick some fake flowers, cut the stems off, and have your child arrange the flowers into the vase. Montessori also practices cleaning up. They have really large brooms at Dollar Tree, but if you look closely, you can find the small dustpan and broom set, which is perfect for little hands to sweep up messes. Sock matching is also a great Montessori activity. Of course, you can do this with your own socks, but if you prefer to use a set that is not worn, you can get them here. Tons of options to match socks. 
I really hope that this has inspired you to kind of look at things a little bit different when you walk into a dollar store and how you can make some of the same kind of activities and concepts that Montessori has on a shoestring budget. If you've done any of these, let me know down below. And if you have ideas on some other ones that I should look for or try, I'd love to hear your advice. So leave a comment. I want to read it. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.